Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So, uh, we're out doing some rock counting today. We're investigating a couple of things. Um, first off, we are outside of Fruitland, Washington, uh, which that's kind of northeast Washington, Stevens County. And when you look at a geological map of Stevens County, you'll see that there's dacite flow formations. So one of the things I want to do is really spend some time investigating these dacite flows. The reason why is because they have a lot of silicate in it and they cool rather quickly. So uh, I think the potential is there to find really cool, interesting material. And the only way to really go out is go out and look, go find stuff in these different spots. Uh, the area that I'm in, um, I will put a GPS pin down at the road area where you drive in here. The road's a little rough. I mean, it's kind of more truck Subaru territory. You got the first piece of dacite here. You can see that is, looks like some little tourmaline if you ask me. A little shoral. Very cool. I think, uh, I think this is gonna be good. Yeah, it's steep. It's uh, well, it's steep. So on the way up, found two rocks. Uh, I don't know what that blue is. I don't know what that little crystallization is in this one, but I think uh, they're small enough to where they're gonna go in the backpack because no buckets here, way too steep. Way too steep. Sure is pretty. Uh -huh. Yeah, these uh, scree fields are difficult, difficult to go. Uh, it's not a place for kids and dogs or people that don't want to go up a 60 degree incline. Well, I've managed to pick up a couple of rocks that we can examine, but the heat, it's really hot. The heat and the smoke, it's too much. No mics, can't deal with them. They're gonna fall off as we walk. But there's some interest. What? I wouldn't come back for it. Hot. Yeah, um, there's a couple of interesting things I'm gonna show you, but we might have to call this one short. And look at the stuff we're finding in the, under the microscope. I do feel like we do pretty good with the heat, but this is a little much, even for us. Yeah, what are you finding? I get chips. Oh, hey. Here, I'll put those in my pocket. Whew. Yeah. Smoky. So there's this, uh, whatever that is. It's like a coating on dacite. Maybe, uh, how about grab a little piece here. How that? Well, got some agate right there, right there, and this uh, dacite. Um, there's a nice big piece right there. Whew! It is melt your face off hot. That's for sure. That is for sure. Yeah, yeah, more agate. Whew. Um, yeah, I think we're I think I'm leaving that. We're not taking any of that. Unless there's some on the ground. I get asked about this thing all the time. That's the temperature right now. Toasty. Whew. Oh, no wind speed to <laughs> calculate here. Oh man. Uh, yeah, it's a, there we go, you can see it. Yeah, it's a little, little much, a little much in the sun up there. All right, so we are back here in the shop now, and I must admit, maybe that wasn't the, wasn't the smartest thing. <laughs> uh, you know, when it's 100 plus, it's smoky, it's probably not the best idea to go climb a, 55 degree hillside looking for rocks. Uh, that was kind of 
probably not the brightest of things that I've chosen to do. Um, but I got some uh, interesting material and I answered a very important question about the dacite flows of Northeast Washington. First off, we definitely found some agate. Okay, look at that little guy right there. Right? Boom, you can see that banding in there maybe? Pretty subtle. But we've, there's certainly agate. There's certainly little pieces of uh, opal out there. But all of that is a little pile of agate. Uh, the actual dacite, now this is pretty interesting. You can probably even see it just here on the camera. Um, all of that little black crystals there, that's all tourmaline. Black tourmaline, shoral. Um, I'm going to roll some photos in here. There's also a blue mineral here uh, that I have yet to identify, but I'll figure it out eventually. You know, we have a lot of cool kind of interesting stuff going on here of opal and agate and tourmaline and quartz and whatever this purple, uh, almost, I mean, it looks like a silica to me, but this betroidal purple mass here on this uh, piece of dacite filled with uh, tourmaline. I mean, I think it's quite cool. Um, now, we have a lot of different dacite flows out here in Northeast Washington, so I'll be certainly spending more time investigating those. You know, I've got this piece of uh, kind of low-quality opal. Um, I will be absolutely going back to that area and exploring, but uh, I'll be waiting for some cooler weather, some smoke-free weather. But I think, I think it, it, it's good. It's good to get out and investigate, right? I think far too many people, um, they, hmm, you start to find one type of cool material and you start to limit yourself to it. I want to find a little bit of all the cool material, you know? I find a lot of enjoyment in the discovery process. And, uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes it's rough, but hey, when you find something cool, you find something cool, you know? So, uh, hey, um, thanks for watching. You know, go check out the website, currentlyrockhounding.com, and I will catch you in the next one, everybody. Thank you so much for watching my entire video. If you like the content that I'm producing here on this channel and you want to support the content even further, you can do so by becoming a channel member by hitting the join button down below. The membership comes with a growing library of exclusive videos and just great other extra content. So I'll just follow the links down below and I will see you on the next video.